was going on in the lead up to Thomas Andrews' departure on this day 100 years ago. And also a little personal bit about my connection to Thomas Andrews. If it hadn't been for Thomas Andrews, my great-grandfather, Tommy Miller, would not have been on Titanic. Thomas Andrews wrote him the reference which got him the job at White Star and he made the switch from a Harland and Wolf engineer to being an assistant deck engineer on board Titanic. And he said goodbye to his children, my five-year-old grandfather and his brother, a hundred years ago yesterday. And a hundred years ago today, my five-year-old grandfather watched his father sail out of Belfast Lock on board Titanic. Susie, how important is this building to the story of the Titanic? This is where Titanic started, you could say, because this is where Thomas Andrews lived from 1908 right up to his departure on the morning of the 2nd of April 1912. So all the ideas that he had for the design of Titanic were all concocted as he walked around the corridors and the stairs of this beautiful house. And you can see elements of Titanic in the decor of the house, the arched windows, the stained glass, the sweeping staircase. He must have taken inspiration from those things for the interior design of his wonderful ship. And, and tell me, you've seen the drama, what, what do you think of it? I think that the drama really brings home that Thomas Andrews was a real person. He's not this fictional character that you see portrayed in the movies and you, you hear about in connection with Titanic. He was a husband and he was a father and he was very, very proud of the ship that he had created. He thought he would return to this house within a couple of weeks and yet as he walked out this front door and into the horse and carriage, that was the last time he ever saw this house. So I think it brings home the poignancy and the fact that the Titanic is a human story. And you're involved in the tourism side of Titanic. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, for the past four years now, I've been bringing tourists around in small groups. And um, I'm, I'm very happy to say that the IFA has been very kind in letting me bring those groups into your work environment here in Windsor Avenue. Just to tell them a little bit of the backstory of Titanic and the fact that this is where Thomas Andrews lived and left from. Um, and it also brings them round to the other stages of Titanic's construction and her unfortunate demise. It's based on the fact that I have a connection to. My great-grandfather was on board and would have left on the 2nd of April as well. And Thomas Andrews wrote him a reference to get him a job on the White Star Line. So there was a connection between my great-grandfather and the owner of this house. So, uh, you know, I love to see people's reactions. There are fans of Thomas Andrews all over the world. And when they stand at the foot of his stairs, they're just so delighted to be walking in his footsteps.